Every year, homeowners waste thousands of dollars on interior paint that looks great in the store, but fails once it hits their wall. The problem isn't the brand, it's what's inside the can. Here's the catch. If you don't know which ingredients count, you'll get paint streaks, fades, and early peeling. Stick with me. I'll show you which ingredients make a difference and which paints actually deliver. The first area I want to share with you would be the binders. Binders are the glue that holds paint film together. Without them, paint would just be colored dust on a wall. Cheap paints cheat by using vinyl resins. They're brittle, they don't flex, and they break down fast. That's why you scrub a wall and suddenly the color dulls or the finish looks burned. Premium paints use 100% acrylic binders. Acrylic resins are tough, flexible, and resistant to scrubbing. It's the difference between a weak rubber band that snaps the first time it stretches versus one that bounces back every time. Products that have excellent binders would be Benjamin Moore Aura and Sherwin-Williams Duration Home. Then we move on to pigments. These are the ingredients that give paint its color and its ability to cover what's underneath. But not all pigments perform the same. In fact, some pigments are made of a dense, mineral-based particles that block light really well. While others, like the organic pigments that are used for reds, oranges, and yellows, are almost transparent at a microscopic level. Think of it like sunglasses. A dark mineral tint blocks light completely, but bright colored lenses still allow light to pass through. That's why when you roll a bold red color onto the wall, it can take three, four, or even five coats before that old color finally disappears. Even plain white can be a challenge. If the formula doesn't pack enough strong pigment, you're going to see what's underneath shining through. And this is where cheap paints really cheat. They do this by cutting down the pigment load. Premium paints are not going to cut these corners. They use both more pigments and better quality ones. So you get real hiding power without rolling your arms off. Products that excel with excellent pigments are Benjamin Moore Regal Select and Sherwin-Williams Emerald Interior. Now let's talk additives. These are the unsung heroes. They're chemicals that are blended into paint to make it behave a little better. Flow agents and leveling agents. These help to spread the paint more evenly and reduce brush marks. Without them, your wall would look like corduroy after it dries. Defoamers knock down bubbles. This helps your finish to look glassy and not pitted. Mildew sides protect bathrooms and kitchens from mold. These are all areas where cheap paints skimp. And you'll notice it immediately. Your brush is going to drag a little more, lap marks, and walls that'll flash like crazy under light. Premium paints spend the money to get it right. That's why they feel buttery and smooth when they go on. Products that excel here are Benjamin Moore's Aura Bath & Spa and Sherwin-Williams Cashmere. Let's now talk about solids and solvents. Every can of latex paint is basically water, solids, and additives. The water is just a carrier. It's going to evaporate. The real story is the solids, because that's what's going to stay on your wall. Cheap paints pad the can with water. It's kind of like you're painting with soup. Premium paints have higher solids, which means a thicker coverage and stronger film when it dries. Now we get to the real heavyweights and paints, and that's titanium dioxide. This is a mineral that's mined, purified, and ground to an incredibly fine powder. It's the champion of hiding power. It makes whites bright, it keeps colors crisp, and blocks what's underneath in fewer coats. But here's the catch. It's expensive. Cheap paints are going to cut out that titanium and fill the gap with chalk or clay. That's why they look dull and take forever to cover. Premium paints load up on titanium dioxide, and that's why they feel almost magical when you roll them out. Products that excel here are Benjamin Moore's Aura, Sherwin-Williams Emerald Interior, and Bear Marquee for that box store option. So now you know, the best paints aren't just about the name brand. 
They're about what's inside the can. If you'd like a deep dive on some of these paints, check out one of these three videos. In it, we dig into what makes them great, and we even put them head to head to see who's better. Also, don't forget, in the description is the pondered and picked section. These are the tools that we use to make these products look great. Use these links to purchase these items from Amazon and support the channel at no additional cost to you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.